going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over early reveals for part two of the Most Feared promo, which is dropping tomorrow afternoon in Mutt 24. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you're searching on YouTube for Mutt 24 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your Ultimate Team, if on the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it now before we go over the reveals for part two of the most feared promo if you're watching this on wednesday night you should be watching the mcs tournament right now because it's your opportunity to earn a free 89 overall isaiah palomao tonight is the only night that you can earn this they are not using the token format for this event you need to tune in for 120 minutes which is two hours to get the pack that gives you the 89 overall there are other standard twitch drop packs that you can earn at various time frames as you can see on this graphic here those packs really don't matter hopefully some of you guys get something good out of them but again 120 minutes two hours to earn that pack that gives you this free 89 overall card six foot four very fast good coverage man and zones got good hit power you can play him as a high safety you can play him as a user he might even be the best user in the game and you can have him tonight now one thing I want to point out I am actually recording this as the first game is going on and I fear that some of you might start freaking out so I just want to show you something normally and I don't watch it on mobile so I can't really speak to your mobile experience but normally when you're watching on desktop if you click like your avatar or your profile picture right here it'll show you like your percentage of how far along you are going on this drop from redeeming it it happened this morning on GM and it's happened again it's not showing that percentage which might make you think oh no it's not counting towards the pack but if you actually click drops and rewards and I know there's a drops and rewards section within the mobile app it should pull up a progress meter and as you can see here I am actually getting progress toward this so you may want to occasionally check it you can see all of the packs here the good thing I believe that they did last time and pretty much all year is that you don't have to like claim the first pack to get the second pack as you can see it's progressing for all of the packs we're almost because we have to watch 15 minutes almost to that first standard pack and here's the mcs most feared pack which i'm at seven percent because the stream just started um, but that is the pack that's going to contain that 89 overall card so again if you click your drops thing up here and you don't see any type of percentage just click drops and rewards and it should show you where you're at right now on this screen now on to the reveals for part two of the most feared promo remember content drops tomorrow tomorrow being thursday at about 1 30 p.m eastern time all content this year monday through friday comes out in the afternoon not the morning we're going to start with a bunch of 83 overalls i'm not going to break these down at the end of the day hopefully they're just theme team fillers for a lot of your theme teams out there watching and also there's the most feared theme team if you can get 25 players from the most feared promo or with most feared cam you can get plus one speed on them and if you can get up to 50 which i would assume is possible now not 100 uh, sure on that but now with part two there should be enough cards out there if there isn't my apologies but if you can get to 50 most feared players on the same team on a theme team they get plus two speed which will somewhat help these cards but these are going to be more so backups on your offensive defensive line in any position that they might cover that has a backup there so let's continue to scroll through these until we get over to the 87 overalls and here we go now remember and hopefully most of you listen to me there's a bunch of free packs that give you 87 overalls two in the field pass there's actually a third one in the field pass or you can take a 90 overall which is my suggestion to you um so these are way better than the part 187s the part 187s were pretty bad there was like one good card maybe two in that bunch i think there's maybe three or four there some offensive line help we got landon dickerson eagles legend here which is pass block was a little bit better but overall a pretty good budget option at left guard kaiser white another eagles legend here 86 speed middle linebacker uh this card is not good okay i thought it was the next one here but we got mac jones as an 87 overall jalen petrie this probably looks like the best 87 that zone is a little questionable a little shaky you can probably get that boosted up with a chemistry item or a strategy item my apologies but 88 speed at strong safety i think he's six foot even could be a good budget user as well there at the safety position and then Jawan johnson 87 speed tight end there 87 short route running 84 mid only 67 run block those are all 
all your 87s tomorrow. We're going to drop an updated video going over the best 87s to take from those free packs. And after the promo drops, you know, at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, we will also see if those packs updated with the new cards. I might even hang on to one of them and wait for part three of the promo, which should be a week from tomorrow. And that will really conclude it. There's a little bit more stuff going on on Halloween on the 31st, which is technically a part four, but I don't think we're going to see any new cards, maybe an LTD or two. And speaking of LTD, seems like we're getting way too many defensive tackles. This is a good one, though. Jonathan Allen, 90 power move, 90 block shed, 72 speed, but the strength tackle play rec are all good. He has El Toro built on. I would assume he's going to get inside stuff as well. And of course, we just did a video on the best defensive tackles in the game. EA would put out another one. So this is a solid LTD price wise. If he gets to rental options or rental prices, it would definitely be a good pickup for you guys. The other one is going to be scratch that. I take that back. So the Jonathan Allen is the Arcania Arcana player. Uh, and then we have four more of those players. Remember with like Avante Maddox last week in Cooper Cup. So we got a fullback, which I understand from a, we need to build the most feared theme team. You need fullbacks. I don't understand wasting a 90 overall slot on this position. That could have been an 87 or an 83. It would have been really good if it was an 87 because that would be a great free option to get a position that nobody wants to really spend coins on. So this is a solid card, but a huge waste as a 90 overall. And just when you thought it couldn't get worse, they also gave us a punter at a 90 overall. One more time, totally understand. They want to give people cards, enough cards to build a 50 most feared theme team. And you need a punter to do that, but not at a 90 overall. It's just really stupid to me. This could have been an 87. A free 87 punter would have been absolutely fire. It would have been a position that all of us could have upgraded without having to spend our coins. And instead, they gave us a 90 overall, which is almost a worthless card there. Zach Martin with baked in post up could be a good card. Too bad he's a cowboy. I'm allergic to that. I can't put him on my team but this card actually looks pretty solid 89 strength 88 awareness 89 pass block and 89 run block we'll see how post up plays this year i haven't tested it out i'm not sure if a lot of people have but again overall a pretty good looking card and then we have our ltd so my apologies earlier i was getting confused i thought jonathan allen was the ltd that is not a not the case it's laramie tunsil card art is fire the card isn't bad itself 88 strength 88 run block 91 pass block 92 awareness i think i'm just kind of tired of all of the offensive linemen in this promo they're just not exciting positions but this is actually a really good card so we'll have to pay attention to the pricing on this one to see if this gets close to ltd rental pricing i don't think it will uh and it looks like what is that edge protector built in so overall a pretty solid card i'm just i'm, I'm overwhelmed with all of the offensive linemen that we have here is the second LTD and speaking of overwhelm with a lot of offensive linemen what about strong safeties as well it feels like we have a million strong safeties in the game and zero like elite free safeties that can play man coverage as well Amani Hooker 89 speed 85 tackle 91 zone 87 man doesn't look too bad right but like we just get the free Isaiah Palomalu tonight there's so many other cards out there I just I don't know I don't understand why they keep giving us strong safeties and no free safeties I was really hoping we'd see a Brian Dawkins I skipped right to the best card of the part two of this promo and it's Jamar Chase happy to see that he did get an upgrade 91 speed he's now tied with Odell for the fastest receiver in the game but the big difference here is that he's just a little bit taller so that's certainly helpful deep route running at 90 is really good mid and short at 87 is good as well catch and spec catch good that catch and traffic kind of trash but I don't think you really need to worry about that. He's going to be a good outside receiver. I still think you can play him as a slot receiver as well. So that's the best 90 most feared card. And if that pack updates with the free options tomorrow, this is probably one that I would think a lot of you should take. The other 90s aren't terrible. We're getting an overload of middle linebackers now. And yes, this card actually can get lurk artists. He's more of a run stopper. The zone coverage is terrible. The coverages in general are not good. But 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 90. 92 tackle, 87 block shed, and that he gets that lurk artist ability for one AP makes him a really, really good user. You just can't trust him in coverage as an AI defender. And then we got Geno Smith, another quarterback here. We just got Jared Goff today. Uh, 82 speed for Geno Smith, 89 throw power. He also has short throw at 90, mid at 86, and deep at 90. 
just, I think, another position we didn't need. And another thing that's kind of upsetting is that that's it. We only got three champions. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm wrong here, we got 490 overall champions on part one, and now we only get three here. So that's another kind of disappointing. So overall, this promo wasn't off to a good start. Part two, we thought it would get better. It did, but it wasn't really hard to be better than the first part. So that's not saying a good thing. Jamar Chase is really the only exciting card that I think a lot of us would agree on is a must-have. But overall, I still feel very underwhelmed on one of the biggest promos of the month year. So we'll see what happens with part three. But when this content drops tomorrow, we'll be dropping a video going over everything in-game. There will be no solos, new objectives, things of that nature. We should be able to upgrade that mystery spirit player as well. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching this one. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.